Hey guys, John here, and welcome back to the series, How to Use Harmless. This is video six, and today we're gonna to be looking at the filters. So let's load up a default patch here, and the center knob right here is going to be our cutoff frequency. Let's hold Alt and remove this filter envelope here, and let's take a look at the cutoff here. So if we bring it all the way to the top here, we have a saw wave, if we bring it down, it's gonna cut off our frequencies. Now here, this first drop-down list is gonna show all the different types of filters that come with Harmless. And then on the right is going to be the resonance, which we're gonna deal with that in a separate video. And then going to the left is going to be the LFO. So this is going to be the LFO knob that basically moves this filter knob here. So if we turn this up, this LFO is going to control this knob here as we make this faster. And then we also have opposite polarity to the left. Next up, we have keyboard tracking. So basically, if this is at 100% here, if we hold Alt and do it default, it goes to 100. So the filter, the, the filter is going to follow our notes that we press. So if this is off here, if we look over here on the spectrum, the filter is static, it doesn't move. But if we have keyboard tracking on, and then we move the notes up, the filter cutoff is going to move at the same ratio be, depending on which note we actually press. And then the width here is going to basically adjust the width of the frequency cutoff. So that, if that doesn't make sense, take a look at this graph here. So with this all the way down, let's bring LFO to kind of move things around a little bit. And as we increase this knob, we can tell how if the width is all the way down, it's a much sharper, much more defined, precise cutoff. And at the top, it's much more blurry and kind of a little bit more relaxed. So that's basically what this width knob does in a nutshell. So let's take a look at these filters individually. So they're kind of organized in a methodical way. The first bank here is gonna be just classic kind of standard. So we have a low pass here. We have our band pass. And the width knob is very useful for this band pass as well. Next up, we are going to have a band stop. So this is gonna be cutting different frequencies within that range. Next up, we're going to have a high pass. So cutting off all those lows, the low in there. Next, we're gonna go into the crude section. And this is basically the same stuff you have here, just a little bit harsher version, so I guess crude. And then you have some other cool ones down here. So we have the hill low pass. One of my personal favorites, leg low pass. And then next we have the snake low pass. Which this one's kind of interesting because you can see there's a cutoff, but then there's a little bit above the cutoff that stays there as well. So it's very useful to actually look at this view here to see actually what the filter is doing. Next up we have fin low pass. Next up, we have leaky low pass. This one's actually kind of cool as well. And it's leaky because over here where it should be cutting off, it doesn't cut off all of it. There's just a little bit left that leaks through. And it's kind of cool with the width all the way down because it's very sharp, but there's still a little bit left there. All right, next up, we have the phaser. Which is very cool, but you might be asking yourself, okay, I have a phaser filter here, but why do I have a whole phaser section here? So we're gonna dive into that in a separate video, which this is a little bit more involved, a little more in depth to, and a lot of cooler different shapes that we can come up with as well. So moving on, we have the band phaser. And then moving on to, from that, we have our last one at flat band pass. And then at the very bottom here, you're gonna notice this oct and hertz right here. 
you kind of want to set this to your taste here as well. And this will have different strengths depending on the filter that you're actually going to be using. So let's go to Hill Low Pass, for example. So not really too much of a difference on that one. But this one, you will notice a difference. So it's always good to experiment with, if you find a filter that you like, maybe toggle this back on and off and kind of see, maybe add something more to it that you like, maybe it doesn't. So generally kind of just play around with that knob a little bit and see if you like it a little bit better. But that's basically the filters in a nutshell. In the next video, we're gonna be discussing the resonance here because this is a, a lot more than meets the eye, especially with the self oscillation and the offset to the cutoff, which is very cool. And we're gonna go through all these cool shapes as well, especially this noise one, which is a very personal favorite of mine. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.